tunnel vision and I'm just ready just to do what I got to do and just that's it. And I, I, I really feel this is the start of a long, long dynasty. Yeah, that's interesting to say that because I think there is a perception out there that you need to prove something to, you know, the people who have missed you or maybe right. to yourself. Right. But you're saying uh, you're picking yourself up better than you've ever been. This is gonna Yeah, be I mean, I, that's a, one of the realizations I came to. It's, I always want to be the first one to shout, right? Because that's just who I am. And you, yeah, it's hard for that to change in me. It's like, I want to be the first one to say, let's do it. But... I realized I was just doing that because I felt like I had needed something to prove. Um, I am just a kid from Victorville, right? And I am, you know, uh, somebody that, you know, people like to hate on because of whatever attention I'm getting. Uh, but if you really look at it, I did all that just so people could see me fight. <laughs> like I went viral for boxing. I went viral for hitting bags. So, and if you really look at it, if you, in the influencer aspect, I don't even post as much as actual influ influencers do. So if you look at, if you really see it, it's people are hating because of all the attention the videos are receiving, not because I'm posting videos. And they also need to realize that that I had a vision when I was a kid that look it, this is gonna be important for my career, and this is the way these got people are gonna know of a kid from Victorville is coming out. And now I'm here, baby. And now you're just going to have to watch and see how special I really am. Right. That's just the facts. Okay. Yeah. Brian, uh, Canelo had an interview yesterday, and uh, you guys had some back and forth on Twitter as well. Uh, he's been really harsh with his criticism regarding your discipline. Why do you think he feels that way? You know, he misses me too. He misses me in the <laughs> ring. <laughs> I mean, I know he wants to see me fight too. But uh, that's what a break is, right? Like a break is... You don't train. <laughs> so I had to clear some things out, and he knows that. So the things he said was kind of shocking, but I kind of already addressed it on Twitter. I just hit him with the facts. I was kind of tired of him, keep uh, tired that he kept coming at me for my worth ethic, and I kind of got fed up. I've shown nothing but respect and love, and I kind of finally was like, all right, I'm just going to speak my mind, my peace, and then leave it at that, and now I'm going to destroy April 9th, you know? We're actually, the best thing about this is boxing is the most truthful sport in the game. So when you see me step in the ring April 9th, you will see if I have a good work ethic or not. You're going to see. So we don't even got to talk about it no more. You're going to see April 9th if I really do have a good work ethic. You guys had a big brother, little brother-like relationship. Yeah. Would you guys, would you still consider you guys close? It's more like Dark Vader and, you know. <laughs> nah, 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 we're good. You're good. I, you know, no bad blood, man. Like, I still think he's a great fighter. And I, I'm there. I, like, I can't hate on him. You know what I mean? He's a great fighter. He does his thing. He works hard, too. 